Hey guys, Situation from Horseplay Gaming, and uh, today I'm bringing you a brand new program that I just found a couple of days ago, and I think it's one of my favorite programs in the world, um, for me, especially when I have a YouTube channel. Uh, what it's called, it's DX Tori, and it's basically in kind of like Fraps, like that the program that basically everyone uses. Um, but it's actually good. I'm using Fraps to record this right now, basically, because you can't record the own program itself, but, um, I don't know, it's just an amazing program. It's, um, less laggier than Fraps, there's way more options than Fraps, um, it's just better overall than Fraps, so I really recommend this. Um, th uh, this kind of recording program is for a little bit more, like, uh, more, uh, computer people so if you're better at computers this program's kind of for you um, but if you're not too familiar with um, computers I'll show you like the best settings and things like that in this video um, right now so this is what you know once you install it and stuff like that uh, you do have to pay for it um, but I'm sure you can find your way on the interwebs not to um, do I recommend that no but that is your own decision so this is not a free program so I really recommend just buying this program, but of course you could probably find a way uh, to get it differently, which I'm not recommending, because that's bad. Um, so the very first uh, part here is the, it's just basically like all the code, stuff like that. This this window um, doesn't really matter at all. Uh, this is your overlay setting, which is really cool. I wish I could uh, show this. Um, but basically, you can change um, the position that you want uh, your capture thing. Not your capture thing, like um, your overlay. So, like, um, you know, on Fraps where it has like the FPS in the top right hand corner or left corner or whatever. Um, in this, it actually it has uh, the FPS you're running, like you're seeing on the screen yourself, and then the FPS you're gonna like you're recording at. So it usually says like. On my computer, it's like I'm playing at 50 FPS or something, but it's recording at a constant 30. So there's basically like two different numbers in the top corner, which they look very nice. You can actually customize the color that it appears as, uh, which is really cool. And um, so when it's not recording, it'll be green or whatever color you pick. And when it is recording, it'll be yellow. So that's great. And it actually is just like an overlay that goes like over your game. So that when you're playing your game, you don't have to like alt tab or leave the game to check if it's recording. You can just, you know, look right up into the corner or whatever corner you pick um, to check if it is recording, which is fantastic. That's why I love this program and it's fully customizable. Um, I guess I'll just um, talk about this top bar right here. This is basically the profiles for each game. So that's Left 4 Dead 2, you know, Java, basically all the games, stuff like that. The Java ones from Minecraft. Um, so that's what that is, and then this is for screenshots, movie capture, stuff like that. Uh, if we move over to the little folder, it's going to take you to um, this thing. It looks kind of weird, you don't really know what it is, uh, but basically this is your like what your hard drive speed is clocked at. It was weird though, mine was clocked at like um, it was, uh, 135 yesterday, but today I did this again and I was clocked at 50 megabytes. So. I'm not sure what's up with that, but um, I'll show you guys how to get this set up right uh, in just a sec. I'll just finish uh, showing you guys the program. A uh, hotkey that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, just basically the hotkeys that you can program separately. Uh, one sec, I'm just going to check if that was recording. Okay. Um, so it's just basically the hotkeys that uh, you can record separately. Did I say record separately? I mean um, uh, program separately. Uh, so you can take screenshots with this uh, program and execute a high-speed screenshot, which sounds cool. I have no idea what it does, but, you know, it's cool. Um, and this is your movie setting. So this is where you get the quality out of the, your uh, videos. Now, uh, the v video codec, make sure, like, all the boxes that are checked off, you check that off. Like, this is optional. Um, I wouldn't synchronize video FPS. I don't really know what that does, personally. Oh, right here. Synchronize uh, video FPS with the frame rate of the capture. Uh, that's totally up to you. I include my mouse cru cruiser in videos. That's totally up to you. Uh, I recommend the file format AVI. Um, click that. 
um, for the frame rate you can go to 60 whatever but um, if you're on a lower I'm not I could easily go to 60 but all you really need is 30 uh, the reason why I go on 29.97 is that it's it's basically better than 30 it's basically 30 frames a second um, but it doesn't like go over so it'll stay at a constant 30 it doesn't like bounce up and down between like 31 32 kind of deal so that's why I leave it on that um, for your video codec, uh, you can probably just leave the rest unless you need to crop it or clip or anything. Um, for your video codec, uh, you can use whatever you want. Again, it's your own choice. Uh, but if you want the best quality, uh, you're going to want to use the DX Tori video codec. That's probably the best one. Um, and then you want to click the little pin, right, pen, pin, whatever it is. Um, right next to it and you basically get your format so you got true quality which is the best you got high quality which is the second best and then medium and low quality now you may be wondering to yourself why am I on low quality well low quality is about probably better than fraps and it may sound like really bad low quality but it's actually like high definition it's not bad at all um, take my word for it you can try it out yourself once you get this program low quality is very very good so there's really no need to go on true quality or anything like that um, if you don't like low quality for some reason I don't know why like not it looks very very good um, you can go to medium quality or whatever you like and always compress it because the file uh, sizes are quite big in this uh, which is you know which is like any um, capture um, recording program uh, the next thing is your audio settings, so this is like uh, what will record your mic and your uh, sound. So what you do is you just want to add another like profile, and one profile will be for your mic. That's what the first profile is for. So my profile is uh, my uh, A2020 Audio-Technica microphone. Uh, you can change how loud the input is, so my voice would get higher if I dragged it higher, and then lower if I dragged it lower. Um, and then you basically can change your sound settings. Uh, you can Google this yourself if you want to, you know, find out what's the best sound quality. I just left it on the default, which is this, because um, I'm not really too good when it comes to audio things like that. But uh, usually defaults just fine. Um, and then your, your next profile, you just hit your um, speakers, what you're listening to. Again, I just left that on the default. You can Google that if you want even better sound quality. Again, I'm not too good with that. Uh, this is screenshot setting. Um, I don't really go into this too much, but basically, um, high speed screenshots. So I'm guessing it'll take like a bunch of screenshots, like a second or whatever. So um, you can give it the limit and stuff like that. Uh, again, margin, everything, options, what kind of file format you want it, the quality, uh, scaling, stuff like that. Uh, this is where it gets really cool in the advanced tab. Uh, you have a bunch a bunch of options um, now if you're using like a gaming computer stuff like that that's why I said this is meant for more of a, like techie people uh, if you're using like a gaming computer you can actually change the amount of threads that you're using um, for the recording uh, software so I usually keep mine at two I don't know why it always goes to one but I use two threads uh, for my recording software um, and if you don't know what threads are, just Google it. It's just basically like the cores of your processor. So if you're running like an i3, an i5, or you're running like an uh, AMD processor or something, um, just check how much uh, threads and cores you have um, so you don't break your uh, CPU or anything like that. Again, if you're not like too advanced or anything like that, I wouldn't go under the advanced tab at all. Um, but if you're pretty good with computers, you can uh, fool around with this. Uh, but be careful. Um, other than that, I just leave it on two threads, and I don't really touch anything else. Uh, the next tab is um, pretty simple. It's just a bunch of other options. Check update, and um, you can change the size of your uh, profile's icon size. So if I changed it to large, it'll be larger. I changed it to medium, but that was nice. Um, and then you got information about it. I registered. Uh, stuff like that so that's just basically a tour of the whole program um, I don't know maybe at the end of the video I'll show you like an audio uh, quality test in like three different games like I'll do like Need for Speed Minecraft Left 4 Dead and like Call of Duty 4 I'll do like 
10 second or so clips of the quality and low quality. Uh, I won't bother with high quality because I just want to show you how good low quality is. So that's what I'll do. Uh, also another thing I forgot to do, these bottom ones. You got rock uh, cap config. I, not config, a uh, converter. So basically what this is, if you go to... Oh, I need to actually show you uh, this first as well. So sorry, we'll go to this first. So if you're setting this up, this is important. You want to run a benchmark. Uh, just leave this on default. And then you want to run the benchmark. Now what this is doing is just calculating um, your hard drive, hard drive uh, space. Not your space, uh, your speed. So right now I'm doing 67 uh, megabytes a second, which is pretty good. So what's it, what it, it's going to do is, you know, have the write speed at 64 seconds for its recording, like transfer rate. So when it's like picking up all your um, video, it'll, you know, transfer it to the hard drive, obviously. So this is how fast it's your hard drive is. So that's why that's there. Um, usually what I do though is I don't really go full out at like, uh, the max of what it was I usually so if it's like 64 it'll go to like 55 so it doesn't uh, hurt my hard drive too much that's just me though so just run a benchmark and type that in oh enough if, if you don't have a profile here just add a folder and then uh, pick your hard drive or whatever or not your hard drive uh, where you're gonna want to save your folders and if you click this right here it'll actually open up your folder that's all my texture pack reviews. Uh, you can go check that out if you want to. Um, okay, so I think I covered everything except the bottom part. So, like I was saying, um, if you're using a raw cap or whatever, um, which I, I believe uh, these are um, um, uh, lower... I can't find the word. What am I... <laughs> It's not as big as a file as an AVI would be, I, I'm pretty sure. So basically what this little thing does is it, um, you drag these in or like use this to add files and uh, you just add in your video clips and it converts it to an AVI, that's why you should just stick to AVI. So. Um, I don't really use that so I don't know like too much in detail of this. I have no clue what this is, uh, if you really want to learn about this you're going to have to watch another video, um, it's not too big of a deal. Um, this, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with music, because it has a little music symbol, but then again, I have no clue, because I don't use it, sorry. Um, this again, I have no clue what it is, so, um, and I don't use it, so I don't think you guys will need it either. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching my, um, DX Tori, uh, video. Um, if this video helped you and you're finally free from fraps sucking, um, please like this video, uh, it'll be greatly appreciated, and please subscribe for more tutorials and stuff like this, and um, some gameplays on the computer. Uh, we also do a bunch of things about computers, uh, we're opening up a new series where you talk about the individual parts of a computer for people that aren't as good as computers, aren't as good with computers as uh, we are. Uh, we're not seeing really great or anything, but we do, do know quite a bit about them. And we like to share information uh, to, to you guys. Um, so yeah, I guess at the end of this video, I'll play a couple of clips. Um, other than that, uh, just please remember to like the video. That really helps me out. Um, tell a friend about this, because this is a great program, and I'm sure they would love it. If they uh, have a YouTube channel, and they're recording uh, like Minecraft or something with this. And I'll play a couple of games, showing you the quality on low and then maybe I'll throw in a maybe a true quality in there just just compare it um, but yeah I'll, I'll put the links down below to the website and stuff like that and I guess I'll see you guys later in the next video bye um, all the following gameplay is on low quality compressed and it's actually still really really good quality um, so yeah just check this out
Another cool feature with this program, instead of them using a sound recorder, it kind of looks ghetto, but uh, the Fraps audio gets screwed up, that's another bad thing about it. Um, so I'm just using a sound recorder for my voice, but anyway, um, another cool feature about this program is that it saves in one clip, unlike Fraps where it saves in multiple clips. Uh, this program saves in one big file, which is fantastic, you don't have to like... Everything's just more organized with this program, and I love it. Um, so I basically just renamed this program Minecraft Low for Minecraft Low settings at the end. And another cool thing is when you drag it into your editing program, such as Sony Vegas, it makes three individual tracks, your game audio um, and your mic sound. And then the top one's your video. So instead of... Um, Raps where the game audio and your friends audio, but yeah, like, let's say your game audio and your voice audio. That's all one track in Fraps. Uh, with this, it actually separates it, um, which the bottom one's your voice and then the red one's a game. So it's great. So you can, um, you know, take out your voice if you didn't like it, and keep the game audio or you know the other way around, and it's it's fantastic. So that's another great feature of this program. Um, I guess that's about it for this program. Um, yeah, just like the video, if the, this helped you, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next gameplay uh, with me using this program. <laughs> Alright, uh, see you guys later, bye.